at the Damhel Stadium. We are underway with Billy Burns kicking off. Ulster in their change kit. And straight through the middle goes James Lang, punching a hole, but he can't find Blair Kinghorn. Well, Edinburgh started fast last week. And they look to again there as Nathan Doak now has them turned. Emiliano Buffelli will send that back with interest. It's well fielded by Burns and now Lowry playing it. Fly half last week, Henderson now finds McCluskey. He's a tough man to stop, gets into full flight. And there's a question there from the referee of whether there were arms used in the tackle. Now it's James Hume. Well, what a lively start as that ball goes through loose. Stay back. Stuart McAnally delivers the line out for Luke Crosby. Edinburgh look to get them all moving. And Ulster holding firm for now. McAnally now breaks off the side with a spin. Needs some help though. You're fine. You collapse them all. I don't know. I'll be I'll be very surprised if this isn't a card. It's just what colour here, Stevie? There's not a huge amount of force, which might save him, but it is high and he's not dipped. I'm seeing here, first of all, we have made contact. There is foul play players at fault. However, there's a second or a first tackle involved before it, and then he makes contact after it. For me, the level of danger doesn't look that of a red card. The level of danger looks that of a, of a yellow card to me. A second tackle involved as well, changing the dynamics of the tackle. It's a yellow card to me at the moment. Agreed. He's trying to make a legal tackle, and he does catch him in the head. So you have foul play. It's a yellow card. Ben, have you seen that you are trying to wrap, but it's prevented by the first and second tackle as a yellow card. Yeah, ben Whitehouse giving a long winded explanation. Yellow card for Nick Timoney. As you see, Dave Cherry is on. There's been a change for Ulster as well. Alan O'Connor who rose up to try and grab that one in. He's on for Ian Henderson and Cherry now has it. Leaves it for Velicott, Dean. And now Kinghorn, it might just open up here, but the pass doesn't go to hand. It didn't go forward either, so Damien Hoyland has to scamper all the way back under pressure from Lowry. Crosby, Kinghorn. Tackle! It's Hodgson in midfield. Kinghorn again, directing operations. Lovely ball on to Buffelli. He's got options here. One of them's Crosby. He's got Hoyland outside him and he elects not to give the pass. Cherry now at pace. Edinburgh knocking on the door early. Velicott is snagged though. Now Hamish Watson, desperate to get in on the action. Cherry leaves it for the scrum half. It's Kinghorn again. Hoyland with the long looping pass, but the bouncing ball can't be caught by Mark Bennett. Now Doak decides to get the backs involved. Burns and nipping outside, it's Lowry. He's brought down by Chris Dean, decided against feeding Ethan McElroy. Milosinovic with another charge, it's Burns, Balakun, a lovely soft hands, Lowry, this time it did go forward though, so back we go for the penalty all the way over the other side. Yes there is resistance from this Edinburgh side, but do they have enough resistance? We'll soon see. It's the same drill again, into Treadwell, and now Herring, there's momentum here for Ulster, comes to Doak. Popped out early and burns. This time it's the shorter ball back to Treadwell, heavily involved. And now Herring, great line from the hooker. Doak now switches the angle. Desperate defence coming from Edinburgh. Now powering forward is Marcus Ray. Ulster within a yard of the first try of the night. Just short this time. Doak with a short ball. Wonderful hands. From Stuart Moore who gets it to Robert Balakun. 
Advantage Ulster early on. Balakun with a poacher's finish. But it was the sleight of hand from Stuart Moore that put the winger in the corner. So Nathan Doak with 121 points this season for Ulster. You can add an extra couple onto that. Taken by Jakob van der Valt. Gets into his stride, burst through two, three tackles. Impressive stuff from the fly half, come full back. Now Dean spots space in behind. Just being covered by Lowry, and was that high from Dean? It certainly was. So the strength of Lowry managed to hang on to the ball, and now Burns. Moore is tackled by Dean, the two number 22s. Early replacements, Burns now chips on, and Dean collects, but we will go back. Doak strikes it. There's a ripple of applause from the visiting fans, and this is exactly the response that Dan McFarlane was looking for from his side. Here comes Kinghorn with the long pass out to Chris Dean. Fens one, goes through the gap and the other. He's got Van der Valt inside him. He's also got Hoyland and Crosby. And just once again, the final pass won't go for Edinburgh. Wrong Might way. now. Van der Valt. The crowd no sensing. Oh, no. But holding on. And it's another big chance that goes astray from Edinburgh. Looking for the penalty, but not coming. Here's Hume. He's through a gap. Fends off Van der Valt. Got the pass away as well to Timoney. Now Burns. Hume again. But this time Edinburgh get the turnover. Oh, quick ball. The rain continues to fall in Edinburgh. Oh, it certainly it. makes that ball a bit more slippy. Advantage. No, you fault that ball. You're on your knee. Here's Warwick. Also, though, going backwards, and therefore Billy Burns decides to knee, kick it away. Ball. But back we go for the penalty. Here comes Doak. It's another solid strike from the scrum half. And Ulster are building a healthy lead here at the Dam Health Stadium. It's a fight for whoever wants it most, and that is Ulster. Hume steps up and carries once again. Burns, little dab kick through, looking for McElroy, who somehow keeps it in play. Back to Burns. That could be absolutely sensational, but covering. It was Van der Waal to knock it away. Well, what a bit of skill from Ethan McElroy. Dean with the latest charge. Velikot, Watson, Kinghorn to try and spark the Edinburgh comeback. It's Bennett. It's fine. And now we go back for the second penalty. Six. You were offside first of all. And then the, just after that you made a no-arm tackle. Percentage of over 90 for the season, Emiliano Buffelli. That's now 21 successful kicks in a row from the Argentine. And it does mean that Edinburgh do get on the board with the final kick of that first half. But the sellout at the dam is not going to plan so far for the home side. At the break in the Scottish capital, it's Edinburgh 3, Ulster 13. What of the response of Mike Blair's side? Blair Kinghorn gets us underway. Edinburgh with the wind on their backs for this half. Here's Mike Lowry. Does brilliantly to evade the first tackle. Now taken on by Gareth Milosinovic. And Nathan Doak. Use it. We'll send the box kick high, but it's... Grant Gilchrist who charged it down from an offside position. First okay, penalty of the half offside. goes the way of the visitors. Also let three points go, but they might fancy more here. Hume's pass out to McElroy. Not He's off. just short and now the ball goes loose. Well, they were one broken tackle away the from the second point. score of the night. Dope to Burns. 
back. It comes back into the hands of Sideways. the scrum half. Oh, great little step from Doak. He needed some support now. The stoppage in play for the tackle on Nathan Doak. And this will certainly be looked at again. It's no foul play for me. And I'll tell you why it's no foul play. Yeah, go on. So, the player is, the player is tackled by the first man, dropping him to a level. Then the back rower for Edinburgh is bent to the hips, bent to the knees, making a legal tackle, and he's unluckily caught him in the head. So it's no foul play. I agree. Again, I think Ben Whitehouse has got that one right. It looks for all the world to be a piece of foul play, but they've gone through their process. Christine has hit him across the channel into Luke Crosby's channel, who is in a good position to make a legal tackle. So. Whilst it doesn't look pretty, unless I'm going through so, my Captain, Edinburgh tinted specs, I think they've gone so, through the right no process there, there and, and ended up with the right result. Very hard for referees to get these right every single time. Nathan Doak for the first points of the second half, which he gets. Certainly has Weetabix this morning. Muncaster. Stay. And now Cherry. They're waiting for their moment here, Edinburgh. Here goes Dave Cherry. And it's another penalty, and you feel like a card is going to follow here for Alan O'Connor. Ulster down to 14. Well, they couldn't make it count the last time against 14 men. This time, Gilchrist wins it in the line out, and Cherry hovers at the back, assesses his options. Dave Cherry takes a punt back, for the line. Up. Now Pierre Schumann. Back, back. And Velikot to Gilchrist. Uh -huh. That has gone forward. Two knock-ons, first, second. And Ulster will celebrate the award of the scrum. That's a huge moment. It really is. Alan O'Connor with the yellow card. He walked off his face. It was definitely one of a guilty man. But his teammates have held out. And that's what, that's what you want, the energy, get off the line, make a tackle. Eric O'Sullivan, Nick Timoney, putting their bodies on the line. Players down from both sides. Just the base. Cherry finds Gilchrist at the tail. Now the mall Stay. has its opportunity. That's blue, blue to ground. Down blue it goes. Ground. Use it away, use it. Chief, Chief. That's it. He's on body, not ball. Dina's in there, so too Nell. And WP Nell charges further. Now Muncaster gets some help from Watson. Schumann now looks keen to dip the hips and go for the line, but the tackles coming in from Ulster. Under the posts are Edinburgh. Can they cross the whitewash for the first time tonight? There is a counter rock, but Muncaster is able to pick it up. Hamish Watson is going to be next to have a go. Well, it's admirable defence so far from Ulster. Now in goes Pargos. The backs will look to go through Kinghorn. Perfect tackling once more from Ulster, Edinburgh just cannot break through that golden line protecting Ulster's try line and the penalty goes their way Schumann the crowd desperate for something to cheer chipped on by Bennett What a finish. Edinburgh desperately trying to protect their unbeaten record at the Dam Health Stadium. This has been their biggest challenge yet.
Kinghorn and Dean. They can't find a gap. Kinghorn with the missed pass is a good one out to Hoyland. Now can they get the ball back? They can for Pergos. Atalipo. Listen to the reaction from the full house at the dam. Scuba now. Well, that would have blown the roof off this place. Pergos to Hoyland. Edinburgh coming to life in the dying stages of this game. They've got a penalty coming too. What a finish this is. Can they cross the line once more? Seconds remain. Gilchrist, the captain, looking for one last stretch. The close to the post, it would surely mean the full pointer is Peter Schumann goes. Now Pergos to Bradbury who drops it. That's knocked on. We'll go back for the penalty. Another one against Alan O'Connor. You can't dive this is into breathless the stuff. Area. Oh, Out of control the side of the other ball. <laughs> what an end to this match. Rory, you couldn't get a breath there for the last two or three minutes. Time off, injuries. Ulster's defence all night has been near perfect. They just need to get through one more set. On but Edinburgh are going to throw everything at it. Hamish Watson. Now... It will be Pierre Schumann. Edinburgh's, they're drifting away from the posts is one thing to keep in mind. It's Bradbury, thought about the stretch, thought better of it. you got to protect the ball at these times and has that one. Ended up there for Pierre Schumann. It's all of a foot away. An incredible finish to this game. Damien Hoyland is on the right wing with his hands up. I don't think the ball is going to get. <laughs> He's in a mountain of space, though. I don't think anything is getting out of the grasp of the Edinburgh forwards here. Knock on. That has been knocked on. Wild celebrations for Ulster because they've come to Edinburgh.